Hey developers, so I really like podcasts and I think a lot of you guys like podcasts too. So in this video, I am going to show you 10 podcasts that I really like. These are technical podcasts, so if you're trying to learn JavaScript, if you're trying to learn Vue, if you're trying to learn React, you're trying to become a web developer, these are the podcasts that you guys should be listening to. So before we get too far, let's have a quick word from our sponsor. I just wanna take a moment and thank our sponsor, Dot Tech Domains. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably love domain names and you love to buy ones that are short and relevant, but also most importantly, available. And that's what's really cool about Dot Tech Domains. There's a ton of really cool domains available. And the dot tech domain is broad enough that you can kind of understand that this is technology related as well. A lot of really cool sites are using dot tech domains like hollywood.tech, viacom.tech, even personal sites like austinevans.tech. So if you guys are interested and you want to search for a really cool domain name, go to go.tech slash Eric and then search for your domain name. If you end up buying it, you actually get up to 80% off on one year and five year domains. So go to go.tech slash Eric and go ahead and pick up that domain name. Thanks. All right, so here is the first podcast we're gonna talk about. Now I picked these 10 podcasts because these are the ones that I've listened to, I've really enjoyed. And uh, I'm gonna go and give myself a little bit of a credit here. I have a podcast, you may not even know that. It's called Self Taught or Not. I do it with my buddy Dylan Israel. From his, he's also another YouTube channel. He has Dylan Israel's uh, YouTube channel where he talks about JavaScript and all that. But this podcast is really about covering the do's and don'ts of software development. And it's really cool because I have a traditional CS background while my buddy Dylan is completely self-taught. And so we have a lot of topics about, you know, what that's what that dynamic's about. What's it like coming to becoming a software developer with a CS degree and then What's it like becoming a software developer without a degree at all? So you could take a look at some of our episodes. We have two seasons, so we almost have like 40, 50 episodes. But, um, you know, some of the more popular ones, if you look back at 2019, uh, is being self-taught developer right for you? A lot of people really enjoyed this episode. Recently, we've been talking a lot about like how to get started with front-end engineering, five myths junior developers have on success. We even interview people, like here we did uh, Allure from Suitcase Coder. We interviewed Tech with Tim. He has a big YouTube channel too. Um, he actually got a, a internship with Microsoft. So it's kind of it's kind of a fun podcast. Definitely not super technical, but sometimes you go into a few technical topics. So if you want to hear me and Dylan talk about a lot of cool technical stuff, check out selftaughtornot.com, and I'll make sure I'll have a link for all these podcasts in the description below. So the next podcast I think you guys should check out is Code Newbie. So there is so many interesting stories of how people got into tech, how people got into web development, how people became programmers. And so I really like listening to these stories and uh, it's really done, it's done really well. The interviews are done really well. So like for example, the last one, how to harness privilege to create equitable design. What's it like to be a front end developer for 20 years? Why personal projects are so important? how not to get bogged down to technical debt. So a lot of really interesting stories and a lot of diverse people are on this podcast. So it's not the same, you know, the same old, old. It's it's a really diverse amount of people and I really like it. So check out Konubi and I think they actually even have conferences. So let me tell you guys about my next one and this is devchat.tv. So devchat.tv dev .tv is like an oldie but a goodie. They've done over 400 episodes and they just interview someone new every week. And it's really interesting to hear um, what, what, what's going on with this, this person. And also very, very technical. So this is great if you wanna learn some, some, like the latest and greatest that's happening in the tech industry, but also really jump into some really cool technical topics. The next one I, I like is Learn to Code With Me podcast. I was uh, just on it. You can see here it's episode season seven, episode four. So if you want to hear more about me, you can check that out. But really, Laurence does a great job at interviewing people for this podcast. A lot of self-taught developers on here. Like this one is how an English professor became a front-end web developer. Like really interesting stories. She really deep dives into um, people's past and how they became developers. So I, I really would highly recommend this one. Another one I like is JS Party. You know, uh, I I've actually know some of these panelists here. It's really cool to have them all in one uh, place. They do interviews, but they also do fun things. They'll do like little quizzes. They'll uh, they they, they kind of mix it up uh, every episode, 
Um, they do quite a bit of interviews, but it's it's really interesting to hear their different perspectives, the panelists' different perspectives. Kind of reminds me of JavaScript Jabber in a little way. Uh, and it, yeah, they just uh, it's really well done, really interesting interviews, and really technical too. So that's great. Front end happy hour. I, I listened to this podcast a while back, and I stopped listening to it, and then I started listening to it again. But it's it's kind of interesting just to listen to to what they're talking about. It's I think it's two guys. So they just talk about like writing CSS is quick to learn, but but writing strong CSS patterns that can scale is a lot more challenging. In this episode, we're joined by Brad Foss. So they do have um, some interviews. Sometimes it's solo episodes, but really technical content that I like. Now, Developer T is a really I um, it's really short kind of yeah, podcasts. I don't I don't think these are very long, and they're daily. Well, they used to be daily. It looks like he does take um, some days off. Maybe he takes the weekends off. But it's kind of like little tidbits of things that you should know to be a developer, um, and it's it's pretty good. I like the Ladybug podcast. It's uh, it's it's all it's a all lady host texted podcast by Emma Bastion, Ali Spittle, and Kelly uh, Kelly Vaughn Kelly Vaughn, <laughs> as you can see from here. Uh, you know, it's a, great to have a different perspective. I mean, there's so many podcasts that just kind of sound the same and this has a completely different perspective and I really enjoy just listening to it and it's also interesting that one of them is completely self-taught one of them like teaches a coding boot camp one of them has a CS degree so it, it it's really unique perspective you don't hear too often and you know there's not many of us who have CS degrees in any podcast that has people who have CS degrees and that uh, are out there talking about it I, I really find interesting suitcase coder we actually interviewed a uh, Laura for our podcast and self-taught or not and it's a newer podcast but I thought it was an interesting take she's a boot camp grad that is uh, new to the tech industry and listening to her journey and what she's going through it's uh, quite interesting and then finally uh, views on view this is another part of the devchat.tv I don't know ecosystem they have a number of podcasts uh, and this one has a special place in my heart because I actually helped start this podcast I actually was not an episode one because right at the last second I had a meeting, so I wasn't actually on the the first episode with Evan with Evan Yu. But I was on like maybe 40, 50 episodes. I really enjoyed this podcast. I know some people from this podcast left and and created the uh, another view podcast. But I you know this one still really uh, I still really like it. And I was actually just on it a few weeks ago, which was uh, really cool. Um, right here, educating you about Vue.js or Canchat. So I was just on this podcast, so I just have to give them a shout out too. And if you want to hear more about that, yeah, click on the link in the description below and you can learn all about it. So that is my recommendations for podcasts. I want to hear what your guys' recommendations are. Leave a comment below. Let me know. And if you guys like these videos, here are more videos that are coming up. Click on them. Enjoy them. Thanks. Adios.